Off the coast of Kenya, in the Indian Ocean, lie unique ecological treasures. <laughs> Some in the sea and others on islands, three of which were nearly lost to developers. John Wamba is in charge of the coast area for Kenya's wildlife service, which is the lawful owner of the islands. I think that's corruption or uh, the grabbers. I think they, they have their ways of doing that, which is not uh, permissible by the government. And of course, because the government has its own mechanism, see, now they were able to recover the islands from the, from the grabbers. The surrounding waters of the Kisite Mpunguti Marine Reserve provide sanctuary for more than 200 dolphins. It's been protected by law since the 1970s. Below the surface are endangered sea turtles and coral gardens that are breeding grounds for hundreds of species of fish. John says if hotels had been built on the islands, it would have been an ecological disaster. Some speculators acquired irregular titles for them in the 1990s amid a series of corruption scandals. Later, the illegal titles were bought by companies owned by foreigners. In spite of the islands clearly being in a nature reserve, some of them sued the wildlife service, seeking to build an airstrip here. They lost the case and drew the attention of the authorities. The investigators say because it's completely out of sight of the mainland, but accessible in small boats and possibly light aircraft, that it's the perfect location for criminal activity such as drug smuggling. And they say that one of the companies still holds a title for this island and has refused to hand it over. The investigators say they'll now take the company to court. The others agreed to hand over their titles after being investigated by Kenya's Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission. Case was filed Abdi Bahamid spent decades recovering all kinds of public property for the government, but he says it's the first time he's ever recovered islands. People will try to do all manner of things, and we are not saying we will we'll finish or rather uh, completely finish corruption in Kenya. What we are saying is let's do our bit to ensure we reduce uh, whatever percentage, even if we reduce it by 10%, good enough. The companies who handed over the titles won't face charges. For now, the islands have at least been spared from illegal development. Malcolm Webb, Al Jazeera, Kisite Mpunguti, Lower Island, Kenya. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.